the president of Trade Union Congress, Comrade Peter Esele. Well, you saw the Labour uh, Minister explaining all of that, and uh, he did say, well, for now, those that the government rule over can't, uh, the government really can't succumb uh, to, to the demands of the Labour. Uh, well, uh, from what I just said, it just tells you the thinking of the government. First of all, is that this is a government that we elected, and it's telling us that he rules over us, and then we also have to let him know where the sovereignty of the state lies, and the power actually resides with the people. That's one. He also made mention of buses that is coming. Uh, these buses were procured by the Trade Union Congress. We got a loan from Urban Development Bank. It does an interest-free loan. It's repayable in five years. And uh, we've been on this for about three years. You don't go and buy a bus off the shelf. We're importing these buses. And uh, we placed all of these buses sometime l early last year. And the buses are arri arriving in Nigeria on the 14th. And that's what he's talking about. In and other words, are you saying it's not part of the palliative respect? He's not. It's not. For us, as far as we're concerned, it's not part of it. He had just announced, one, they, FEC just announced 1,600 buses that will be shared around the country. Are those buses available now? And they're already looking at those buses as palliatives. So those buses are not even around. If you say you want to deregulate and you say you want to have palliatives in place, one, is, one would have expected that those buses would have been here and that becomes part of your palliatives. And he's talking of we have to come to a round table. The federal government have broken the round table. Because first of all, we're already talking. And then you made some of us. I, I'm not thinking in terms of Naira and Kobo. You made everybody to move. Some of us had to fly in from Abuja to Lagos for the first town hall meeting. And the next day you went ahead and you said uh, you've uh, removed subsidy which means that you have power to do whatever you want to do. And so what Labour is also saying now is, okay, fine. If that is what you want to do, we are also saying uh, we want to withdraw our service from Monday. So how much of this dialogue is so much before you can call for a strike? I don't think there was even a dialogue. As far as I'm concerned, we were having, you, you see, the first major one, the first official uh, dialogue was the town hall meeting. You know, we had one with the president. And what we have with the president, the president spoke to us, and the president said, is, I'll call the president, said, I'm not telling you to support or to be against it. I just want you to hear me out. And we said, okay, fine, Mr. President, we'll try. We'll, we've heard you, and we're going to respond. And so in that meeting, some people also expressed some certain reservations. And then the next thing was, okay, fine, we're invited for the town hall. And in that same town hall, you, you guys covered the town hall, and the Minister of Information said the consultation is ongoing. And if you look at from when you had a town hall to when they said uh, the subsidy is off, you will notice that what we had actually was a monologue. So we, we've just been told to come. You know, because uh, all this while we never had uh, Labour and uh, the Chiefs specifically say, well, it's been a monologue when uh, the government ha kept on saying they were consulting, but we're just getting to hear this. That's yes, why some people, I don't know if you've heard from mm. uh, the public, mm. some quarter, they're saying we were, we were supporting compromised. it. No, the, yeah, because they felt that we were supporting it. But one thing you have to know is that if you talk about, if you talk about it's not a monologue, or we are negotiating. Of course, when you know you are, when you say you are negotiating, you both sit down. The minister just made mention of uh, ILO convention. First of all, you have to ask yourself, okay, what do you want us to now come and negotiate? You've already gone ahead and fixed your price as one for the three. And as I'm talking to you now, in Bauchi, part of Bauchi is about 200 naira. We had people from all over 36 states and our federal capital territory in Abuja uh, today in Lagos there for this meeting. And everybody, they, they came with the average price in each of these states. And so of what use is the regulators that we're talking about now? So if those uh, buses are not the genuine palliatives we're talking about, what if government comes up with uh, the genuine palliatives? Would labor back down? Would you be calling but again, up you that? Can, you, no, right now, you can also be you just listen to the body language and what the government is talking about. It makes you feel, do you, do I, do I, can, how can I believe in this? Now you are talking about palliatives. You've taken away the subsidy and you did not make any, any palliatives available. You are talking about, the minister is talking about is aware of cost of uh, uh, bo taking buses. What of education? But what of school fees right now? But Comrade Seller, there must be a middle ground somewhere. What is Labour ready to give out, uh, to let go rather? The, we're talking about some kind, no, of, but I think, I think, some kind I think, of middle ground here. No, I think right now Monday has come to stay. Monday, Monday for sure. I don't think he, he made mention of uh, they are trying to reach out for, for various meetings at the moment. He had, uh, we've gotten calls from them that, okay, asking for a meeting for tomorrow. But I think Monday has come to stay because if you, if you read our communique, the, the next simply says that not even the president can call off this action. That if this action is going to be called off, the president must go ahead and summon a neck. 
Well, no one expects uh, Labour to plunge the country into some kind of chaos. Uh, so. How long can you we hold, really, we really, how long can you it's, hold it's, the strike not, uh, just in case the government refuses to rescind the, the it's, decision? It's, it's not our aim to hold the country to ransom or to plunk, plunge the country into what, what may like to follow. But again, it has to do with those who are leading us. You can't hold us responsible for that. Well, a quick one. Uh, so what's the way forward? I think, I think the way forward is first thing I can guarantee is that the strike takes up on Monday. That, that for me, I don't think anything is going to change that.